Hello, I'm CJ Werleman, and in this episode, we reveal how Islam continues to nourish and deliver strength to the Palestinians in Gaza. But first, please remember to like and subscribe to our show. Now let's get into it. In our most recent episode, we revealed how Israel is trying to erase Islam from Palestine, having destroyed 1,000 of Gaza's 1,200 mosques during the past 10 months alone, while also undertaking a global propaganda campaign that aims to undermine Islam's growing popularity in the West. But the good news is Israel will never win in the long term, because the Zionist state has become the most hated country on the planet, at the same time Islam has become the world's most beloved religion. And Islam will continue to flourish centuries after Israel is removed from Palestine once and for all. A reality that's much closer than many people think, given Israeli society now finds itself on the brink of collapse and or civil war. Israel's misguided arrogance and hubris is why it won't survive another 20 years. And even if Israel doesn't cannibalize itself or is not starved by growing economic and diplomatic isolation, it ultimately won't matter because the Palestinian people are made indestructible by their Islamic faith. Islam has made Palestinians the living embodiment of the famous maxim that whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. They have defied genocide. They have survived 75,000 tons of US manufactured missiles and bombs, which have not only destroyed almost every house of Islamic worship, but also more than 90% of all residential homes, leaving 1.8 million of the total 2.3 million population homeless and without proper shelter from the searing hot summers and freezing cold winters. Tents have become their new homes, their new resting places, eateries, places of gathering and places of worship. A harsh new reality that would break the spirit of an ordinary people. But there's nothing ordinary about Palestinians. They are the most extraordinary amongst us, the best of us, and they remind the world of this every single day through their commitment to each other and to their religious faith. You're now watching six Palestinian girls walk the bombed out and flooded streets of their Gaza neighborhood to a tent that has been converted into a mosque where they recite the entire Quran from memory in one sitting and in temperatures exceeding 35 degrees. This is the kind of dedication and devotion to community that has made Islam the envy of the West during the past year, which is why Israel is spending hundreds of millions of dollars on a new global disinformation campaign against the religion. And at the same time, it's deliberately erasing visible displays of Islam from Palestine. But Palestinians, they know what's going on here which is why more than 1,000 children in Gaza have memorized the Quran since Israel began bombing the territory last year, bringing with it new reasons for hope and joy in the face of relentless Zionist oppression. Israel may have bombed almost every mosque and house of worship in Gaza, but it can't destroy Islam and the Palestinian hunger for Islamic scripture, inspiration and guidance. They find copies of the Quran under bombed out homes and buildings and then gather neighbors around for prayer and spiritual enlightenment. In a speech I gave years ago to a room full of American students, all of whom were non-Muslim, I explained some of the verses of the Quran in a way they would understand. And I did this by showing how the Prophet Muhammad inspired Muslims to defend Medina from attacking enemies in the same way the great Scotsman William Wallace inspired his men to defend Scotland from English invaders, as depicted in the film Braveheart starring Mel Gibson. Were William Wallace a Palestinian, he might have said, 
You can take our lives and bomb our mosque, but you will never take our freedom. An esprit de corps that was captured by a Palestinian imam giving a call to prayer atop the ruins of his mosque in Gaza. Palestinians remind themselves that they belong to Allah and that no matter what cruelty that Israel inflicts upon them, including genocide and displacement, they will eventually triumph over their criminal invaders and occupiers. Behind that man is an entire generation of Palestinian children who have suffered the most unimaginable traumas during the past year. Traumas that will let Traumas they will never recover from, including the loss of their parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters. Six months ago, it was reported that 17,000 Palestinian children have lost both parents to the murderous Zionist army. But this number is now much higher today. We covered the plight of these orphans in a recent episode. They will now carry the flag for their people and the religion of Islam in Palestine for generations to come. As beautifully illustrated by two brothers who teach each other how to recite the Quran in the rubble of their bombed out home. Islam is why Israel will never conquer Palestine. You can't defeat a people who are willing to die for their community, justice and God. This is a lesson the United States learnt the hard way in Afghanistan and Iraq. And it's a lesson that Israel will learn very soon if it hasn't already. But that's my time for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we kindly ask you please support our effort to expose and confront injustices in the Muslim world by becoming a member of this show at patreon.com slash CJ We can't produce, sustain and grow this show without your help and we offer exclusive content and benefits to those who do. I just can't stress enough just how much we need and appreciate your assistance. But for now, good night, good morning, wherever you are and stay blessed. Thank you.